what's up guys, John here from the REI Contractor Show and Master Electrician with TNL Wiring Pros. So back to our wiring series, for those who haven't seen the first couple episodes, I'm John, Master Electrician, Licensed Electrician, all that fun jazz, and I'm um, basically giving you a rundown of electrical wiring to notice for your REI investing. So today we're talking about everybody's favorite, aluminum wiring. So aluminum wiring gets a really negative perception for what it is, and it's really, um, in my opinion, a uh, bad opinion. So um, aluminum wiring is not dangerous. It was, um, it's a really soft metal, okay? So it's, what happens is the connections expand and contract. And what happens when we do that is we cause um, for the devices like receptacles, switches, light fixtures, the connections, they come loose. When loose happens, that's when we get arcing. And when we get arcing, that's how we get fires. So what the problem with aluminum wire is it needs maintenance, okay? So if a house has aluminum wiring, it does not need to be completely rewired. What we want to do is we want to do what's called a retrofit. A retrofit is when we take the aluminum wiring and we use a special moret, which you'll see in the photo here, and we attach a piece of copper wiring to it. And it's completely legal, this is ESA, but you have to use the proper, proper parts, okay? So what you see here is this, we call it a purple moret. There's an actual name for it, I don't know it. And what this thing is, is it prevents oxidization between the two wires. And when you do that, it doesn't expand and contract, and it keeps nice and tight. And we put on new copper grade receptacles, or switches, or light fixtures and now we don't have anything to worry about. I still recommend once a year or two to have an electrician come around and test all your connections to make sure they're tight. And you do that, you'll never have problems with wiring. If you had to rewire an aluminum house, you're talking between 10 and $20,000 depending the size. When you do an aluminum retrofit, you're talking between $1,500 and $2,500. And it's done in about a day. You get an ESA certificate, it's completely legal and no problems. It's obviously the better way to handle it. Very few aluminum rewires have done it. And some people just don't want it and they want it rewired. That's fine too, but it's just a lot more costly. And for real estate investors, obviously we're all about costs and keeping costs under control. So this is my highly recommendation. So this picture here, you'll see how to identify it outside of a box. We have different things, but what you'll notice on this one is that it's 12-2 instead of 14-2. So for copper wiring, we use 14-2 for 15 amps, 12-2 for 20 amps. 10, 3, 4, 30 amps. Up, go and go and go. With aluminum, we're always one size up. So we start off at 12 gauge for 15 amps, then we go to 10 gauge for 20 amps, and then 8 gauge for 30 amps. So your dryer will be done in 8.3, your stove will be done in 6.3. Anything that's over 8 gauge and above, there's nothing to worry about. We don't do any special connections. The wire's thick, so it does not as easily as breakable. We just want to make sure the tight connections are tight. And for Anything that's below that, we want to make sure we're using this retrofit method. So to identify it, as you see right here, we have this white wire, and it's clearly marked aluminum wiring. Most people don't realize that all wiring has a date stamp, anything that's modern, and that's very important. And you'll tell whether it's aluminum or copper. If you see AL, that's aluminum, CU is copper, but most of the time it's written out in full. And as you'll see right here in this picture, you'll see that this is a basically connections in a neutral bar, and you'll see that it's a silver aluminum looking wire to make it real easy. You'll also notice that the cable feels a lot bigger on the outside because of that gauge upsizing. So aluminum wiring isn't dangerous if it's properly maintained. We use aluminum wire to this day. We just use it in six gauge or above. So something that's larger because it's unlikely to snap. If you take this 12-2 wire here and go with it through your fingers, it will snap in half. So for all your services that we do for your house, underground utility companies, us, when we do your hydro service, more than likely it's done in aluminum wire. Why? Because it's about a tenth of the cost. Um, for example, a number two aluminum wire, which is good for 100 amps, they just lowered it a little bit, but we'll just 100 amps for reference, is about $1.50 a meter, where that same equivalent, equivalent in copper wire, which would be number three, would be five to $6 a meter. So it adds a huge difference in cost. And it's a lot easier to work with aluminum because you can bend it. So, but there's nothing where we use this compound called Nolox and it's an antioxidant compound for all the connections prevent it from oxidizing and that's the main restriction. Same thing with these morets right here. These are antioxidant compound and they have built in Nolox which is in the moret. So if you take it off, you'll notice it's gooey and sticky. It's a nasty substance, but that keeps it from oxidizing. 
So if you have a home with aluminum wiring, I would not freak out. I would not stop me from buying a deal. Just know that's how you're going to deal with it. Now you could always ask the seller to have it done beforehand, before you buy the place. Just make sure they give you an ESA certificate. So key point to know is that we only used aluminum wiring for a short period of time. In Canada, it was like 73 to 77. But if you're buying any home in the 70s, if you haven't had an inspection done or sight unseen, you're going to want to get that aluminum wiring checked up so you know what you're dealing with. It's, um, it's pretty easy to identify. It was in the 70s. You buy a 70s home, which are quite popular. Like we're here in Hamilton. We have homes like Stony Creek that there's just a ton of homes built in here, the west end of Hamilton off of Garth in the west end. Most of those homes were wired with aluminum wiring. It's usually by neighborhood when you're doing a subdivision builds. So if you know you're in that range, get it checked out. So at least you know what you're dealing with and make sure that it's been retrofitted. Key point to know that I forgot about is that all the plugs and switches we use today are copper rated only. So a lot of people, because they wanted to pretty up their houses, took their old ugly outlets on and put new ones on to Cora. Problem is they didn't know about this. And what happens is that connection oxidizes and that's how a lot of fires happen. You have to use either a Kolar rated device, which is copper aluminum, which they only have them in the standard. So most people want decor the pretty ones. They do not make those for things. You have to do a pigtail. This is what we call pigtails, aluminum retrofit. Otherwise you're going to have problems in the near future. Well guys, that's it for aluminum wiring today. Thank you for watching. It's a lot of fun doing this. Appreciate it. Please like, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.